Hi everyone, happy Friday. Hi, I'm Amelia. I used to be an operating room nurse till I found out that I was pregnant. So I decided to trade in all of my scrubs so I could be with my family. Come hang out with me as I remodel my home, quilt, restore furniture, and find thrifted goods for my home. Please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks. So this is going to be kind of like the very first episode of my new mini series, I would call it, um, being a nesting series. And I mean nesting because I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant with baby number two. It's a boy. Yay, we love boys. And we're super excited and we're finally gonna be in a house that I can actually nest in. Now, we're actually gonna be staying in this house maybe another year and a half. So that gives me time to actually really nest and get projects done and also that we own the house so I can get stuff done. So this is gonna be like my nesting series of how much stuff can I get done until I pop this baby out, <laughs> basically. I'm 20, 20 weeks in a week, so what, 19 weeks? Uh, by, this, by the time this video gets up, I'll be like 20 weeks pregnant. I'm feeling good, I have some energy, and I am ready to nest. I wanna get these projects done. So let's talk about these projects. The first project that I've actually been working on right now is the living room. Um, the living room is quite strangely shaped. It's a rectangle rather than a square. And I have a sectional, which really leans more towards an open concept square room rather than a rectangle because it's a huge lazy boy sectional and it eats a good three-fourths of the width of this room <laughs> so I can't keep it in its traditional format so right now I have a 13 foot long couch that it's just all one two pieces of a sectional without this middle corner joint and so I've got to find a spot for that that little corner joint uh, corner seat I guess you would call it I have to find a spot for that I have to take up all the wallpaper in the room I need to um, figure out some solutions for toy storage. I have kind of an idea that I've been playing with. Okay, one of the big projects for my living room is going to be the fireplace. I don't know if you can tell, but we have a ton of toys upstairs that need some kind of storage solution. So, so what I'm thinking is to do some built-ins here and here. Rework the mantle. It seems too short. To me, a mantle should go over the fireplace, not stop at the fireplace. So it seems too short, and I don't like the spacing between here and here. I think that looks weird. <laughs> so rework the mantle, add some shelves, and yeah, maybe have a really pretty painting up here that I can do. And yeah, I think that's pretty much what I've got planned for the fireplace. And some shelves, because we have nice family books that my mom makes. I'd love to display um, some family pictures, some little trinkets that I find throughout all my treasure troves and hunting and stuff that I've collected over the years. Um, I have lots of knickknacks, if you haven't been able to tell. So I'd really just like to make that room us. And then in that room, I have two beautiful Z chairs. They are sitting outside in my garage right now because I have not done the reupholstery I need to do for them. So that's gonna be another thing on the list. I wanna get those done. I wanna move the TV rework our layout so that we can use our French doors to go out to the patio. I need new curtains. It's going to be a whole makeover. So that's project one. <laughs> In our entryway of our house, it is nothing but wallpaper. This is our walk-in entry area. I hate this wallpaper. One, because these are only eight foot ceilings. They're not that tall. It feels very dark. 
very heavy in here. So I would like to do, take it off, paint it white, and let it just breathe because goodness gracious, it is dark in here. I was also thinking maybe doing some like Wayne's coating that starts up here and wraps all the way around and have like a formal entry for like this traditional style home that we have and just doing something like really cool like that that makes it feel grand makes it feel elevated and yeah that's the plan master bedroom we are still working on the master bath um i actually hired a contractor for the master bathroom and it is taking longer than when I did Conrad's bed, bathroom by myself on breaks or uh, only on like the hour and a half break I get in the day while Connor was napping and at night. Ooh, I don't know why it's taking so long. We've had a lot of issues with it. Um, they're still trying to figure it out. Right now it's a functional usable bathroom. There's still some problems and they have to come back and fix. It's been a mess, but I will link the video of me doing Conrad's bathroom up here. It's a two part series, so don't forget to hit the next part that's associated with that video. Um, so anyways, master bedroom. I want to add wallpaper. I want to do a really cool feature wall. I'm either going to replace or fix up the, um, the headboard that we have now and then do like a, like I said, a feature wall with some beautiful wallpaper. I got this wallpaper from Anthropology. It was actually very inexpensive considering this from Anthropology. Um, and I don't normally buy from highly trendy stores, but it is in my colors that I really like. I think the um, Asian style garden scene is actually really pretty and peaceful. Um, and it would match my 1800s rug that I have and my two uh, rugs, uh, Nicholas rugs from China that I have. So it all, it all kind of balances out. I need to fix one of my, my nightstand. If, if you look in a picture, my husband's nightstand's like this and my nightstand's like this. I wanted to make them even. So even though they're not the same nightstand, give them the same height. They're both chunky and big and black and I'm not gonna paint it. I just wanna work with what I have. I just need to raise mine up. The next thing I need to do in that room is add lighting. At night, I'm gonna be nursing with a newborn. I have no light source over there other than a lamp that doesn't work. So I need to get um, some lighting. I have pendant lights that I got. Oh, these, these lights are so pretty. I was gonna hardwire them in, but if we sell the house and move, they have to stay with the house since they're hardwired in. And I just can't do that. So I think I'm gonna do um, pendant lights up top that come down with just a really long cord that I can switch on and off down on like by my nightstand or even put in like a Philip Hughes um, light bulb in them so that I can control it with my phone and make really nice like soft lighting when I'm nursing at night um, and just get my bedroom decked out and ready because I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of room up there a lot of time up there so getting that all set up. And because I'm gonna be spending so much time in my room, trying to be comfortable, trying to rest, I have to have my son's room set up. So his room is also on the docket. I have a wall unit for him that can be like his little work area to just, and uh, that he can color on, not color on the furniture, but like have a little area where he can be creative, have his books, and then have some pretty trinkets that he has and just, make him kind of like a big boy room uh, so his room is on there too i don't think i have very much to do in his room i don't mind the color i need to fix his curtains uh work on like a, min a mini gallery wall for him um maybe i might do pill and stick wallpaper i never know i like i go crazy with wallpaper even though i like hate the wallpaper that i have in my entryway it's weird I have in the basement um, a niche. It's like a really big nook niche area that I think would be perfect for a dry bar. An area where I can have like uh, some built-in and then have maybe a shelf for some cups and then um, 
like a drink fridge, maybe a tiny little popcorn maker and a coffee pot with like some breakfast bars and some snacks for the kiddos. Um, Conrad loves playing in the basement and I know we're going to be down there probably when I start feeling better when I'm off of that, that first initial couple weeks um, of pregnancy. I can start going down the stairs and carrying the kids back down the stairs um, easier and uh, I know I'm going to be living down there and mom's going to have her coffee and going up the stairs to get a, just a, a single cup of coffee just is such a drag. So I'd like to have a spot where I can have like a coffee station, a drink fridge um, for kind of like little juices and stuff and some maybe some milk. I can have my breast pumps there and have some more toy storage just like deck that area and make it more of a usable space because right now it's not really being used. So I think that would be great. And if I were to take you into my garage right now, all you would see is an absolute mess. I have projects on projects on projects. So I wanna get all of those furniture pieces that I've been meaning to restore out and get them out and restored and start using them. So I have two side tables I need to put into uh, my living room. So I need to get the side tables I have in there, take them out, either get rid of them or do a yard sale or something. So I need to put those ones in there. And then I need to, I have those Z chairs need to go into my living room. I have a dresser somebody gave me. I don't think I'm gonna restore. I think I'm either gonna either gift it to somebody else or um, like uh, maybe just put it on the curb for free <laughs> or sell it maybe, I don't know. Um, I have a buffet I need to finish. I was planning on doing a complete restore with that one. It has gadgets in the veneer. Don't want to do veneer patches, especially on blonde oak. It is so hard to find blonde oak because it's just not a trendy thing right now. So I think I might just paint it, get it in my dining room, do the gallery walls in my dining room that I've been meaning to do, and just start decluttering and organizing. I'm hoping I can get at least maybe one project knocked off the chart a week. I'm hoping maybe a week and a half, maybe two. I think the living room is gonna be like a two part series, maybe. But anyways, I digress. This is the plan. Uh, let's see how much I can get done while I'm nesting.